Hello guys, uh, my name is Noel and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. So, as you guys already know, in this channel, I'm here to provide you guys with the right information on how you can study in Europe at a very affordable tuition fees. That's my goal here. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly do so. And don't forget to, you know, press the like button and drop your comments in the comment section. Okay, so today I'm going to just dive into it straight away. I'm going to explain to you uh, how you can study in Hungary for free. Yes, absolutely free. There is a scholarship called Stupendion Hungarian Scholarship. Okay, it's called Stupendion Hungarian Scholarship. And that means you will be funded for your study throughout your stay in Hungary. Okay, so um, firstly, let's look at um, what this scholarship stands for. And before I go that, don't forget Hungary is a country in the European Union. It's just about four hours by bus from Czech Republic. So it's a member of the Schengen states or the Schengen zones. Okay, that means if you are living in Hungary, you can travel to all of that 26 member states without any further requirement for visa check. Okay, so the stupendous Hungarian scholarship was launched in 2013 by the Hungarian government with the aim of providing opportunity for foreign students to pursue their higher education studies in Hungary. And this scholarship offers studies in bachelor's degree, master's, and also doctoral programs, mostly in English language. Okay? All your tuition fees are covered and the accommodation and living costs are also supported. So you have to focus on your studies. Why in this scholarship scheme? Now, like I said before, the available scholarship types include bachelor's, master's, doctoral, and even non-degree programs like preparatory courses and postgraduate specialist training courses. So what are the things that are covered by the scholarship? Tuition free education, that means you're not going to pay for any tuition fees. Monthly stipend, which is about 43,700 Hungarian foreign currency. That is equivalent of 120 euros per month. This will be contributed towards your living expenses in Hungary for the 12 months calendar until you complete your studies. Also, you have a free dormitory place or a contribution of 40,000 Hungarian foreign monthly, which is about 101 euros for accommodation cost. Then also you'll be provided with medical insurance as well. Okay. But bear in mind, this provision are only to contribute towards your living expenses for the scholarship holders. Okay, it does not cover other extraordinary expenses you make as an individual, but your study fees will be paid, accommodation will be taken care of, and your uh, living expenses, generally speaking. Okay, and now there are cities in Hungary whereby you can study. We have the Budapest, which is the capital city, a beautiful place. I've been there, lovely. You have a Debrecen, Gaia, Miskog, Pegs, and Sijet. Okay, now let's look at eligibility. So many countries are part of this sending partners. Sending partners means countries that are, are liaison with the Hungarian government to provide the scholarship for their students, for their citizens. Okay, I'm going to give you some examples of countries that are part of this scheme, but there are so many of them. I'm going to put these names below this video. Okay, we have Federal Republic of Nigeria, 
Republic of Ghana, Republic of India, Republic of Kenya, Republic of Liberia, Republic of Maldives, Republic of Mali, Republic of Namibia, Republic of Rwanda, Republic of South Africa, Republic of the Philippines, United Republic of Tanzania, Arab Republic of Egypt, Argentine Republic, and so many other countries are part of this scheme. I'm going to drop the names of this country below this video, okay? So, what are the non-eligibility? Applicant born after 31st August 2004, that means applicants under 18 years old, as of 31st of August 2022, um, are not eligible for this program. Okay. If you already registered as a self-financed student in Hungary, you are also not eligible for this program. Okay. Now let's look at available host institutions and study programs. For example, the universities that you can apply to study through this scheme. As of 2022, 28 Hungarian higher education institutions are engaged in the stupendous Hungarian program for the 2022-2023 academic year with almost 500 study programs in foreign languages, mainly taught in English language. So you have enough opportunities to apply for different universities and then different courses in Hungary. Okay, so I'm going to put the link of these institutions for you to check it out and see which program suits your desire best. Now let's look at other selected study programs. Each applicant can apply up for up to two different study programs in order to, in order of your preference. So you, you have opportunity to apply for two different courses according to your order of preference, okay? These two programs can be both at the same host institution and at different host institutions, okay? It is the applicant decision how you want to prioritize your choices. Remember, don't forget to check the minimum requirement of each study program before applying. The applicants need to directly apply for the study programs in the online application system. I'm going to drop the link of this system below this video. Okay, what are the basic application documents that you need for you to apply for this scholarship program? Number one, you're going to complete online application form with your recent photo of the applicant motivation letter, minimum of one page, proof of language proficiency, and their translation in the language of the selected study program or in Hungary. School certificates and their translation in the language of the selected pro study program or in Hungary. Transcript of records, okay? Copy of identification document, identification document, sorry, that is your passport data page. Then acceptance of statement for application in the online system and then medical certificate. These are the basic documents that you need while applying for this scholarship program. Now let's look at submitting the application. All applications shall be submitted through the online application system of organization called Tempus Public Foundation. Tempus Public Foundation is organization responsible for this scholarship so you can search them and read more about them i'm gonna drop the link below this video so you'll be able to just click on it and you take it to their page and you see how you can apply for this scholarship and select your host institution's choices and your course of choice now the online application system can be reached through this link i'm gonna drop below this video okay the deadline for submitting the application usually january 15th as of this year um session so bear that in mind. Now, there's an important thing I have to say also about this scholarship. You have to bear in mind there are what is called sending partners. So your country, okay, has to also nominate you for this scholarship. So as you're applying through the Temples Foundation organization online, choosing your schools of your choice in Hungary and your courses, you have to, you have to also apply through your country scholarship scheme, which is now that you're sending partner for this scholarship program. So by standard, all applications shall also be submitted to the responsible authority of the sending partner, that is your country of origin, 
each sending partner might have a different deadlines and requirement for submitting the application material. So there are two things here. Your country scholarship scheme has to also nominate you. So you have to apply through them as well to nominate you for this scholarship. At the same time, you have to also apply through the universities in Hungary through this Tempus Foundation I talked about. Okay? I hope I get that name correctly. Yes, Tempus Public Foundation. You have to apply through their website, also apply through your country of origin scholarship scheme. Now, there's always a responsible person for each country scholarship uh, scheme. For example, for those of you who are applying from Nigeria, name of responsible authority is Federal Scholarship Board. And as of today, the name of the person who is in charge of that board uh, is Mrs. Uh, Naji, Na, Ndajiwo Hesh Asta, Director of Federal Scholarship Board. Email address is there website and also phone number address is 245 samuel ademulego street central business district abuja this is for those applying for nigeria so contact federal scholarship board abuja for them to give you the deadline for application for this scholarship for the next year in tech so you have to apply through them and also through this temples public foundation in hungary okay and now I'm going to show you the flow chart of application process so that be able to know the deadlines you have to have in mind. I'm using this time frame for this year scholarship application, which has already closed. Now, around November, December, so be on the lookout this year, November, December, applicants read and understand all details of the call for application 2022. 2023 and prepare all application documents so from november december you have to go through the website and begin to know when they open for application for next year okay so around november december also get in touch with your sending partner i said that before so around november december this year try to contact your country scholarship authority to find out when they will open their own uh, application portal for this scholarship because they have to also nominate you at the same time you have to also, you have to also apply through Temple's Public Foundation in Hungary. Okay? Now, until the deadline given by the sending partner, which is your country of origin, uh, applicants submit the application to the sending partners if applicable. Now, between November to January, January, maybe January next year, applicants read the guise of Temple's Public Foundation, which I told you before, to the online application system available on website. I will drop the link below this video. By January 15th, okay, applicants submit the application document to the online surface of Temple's Public Foundation and click on Submit button, which means by January 15th next year, you must have submitted your application through Temple's Public Foundation. I will drop the link of this, uh, web of this organization website below this video. Remember, you have to also contact your country who is a sending partner. That's your country scholarship authority. Now, by second half of January, January, technical check of the application by Temple's Public Foundation, eligible applications are forwarded to the sending partners, which means your country, okay? Until the end of February, the sending partner pre-selects the submitted applications and send a nomination and reserve list to Temple's Public Foundation. Your country and the uh, scholarship authority will have to send the nomination to Temple's Public Foundation. By middle of March, the nominated applicants are forwarded to the host institutions, which you, have, which you must have selected when you applied for the scholarship through Temple's Public Foundation website. So by middle of March, the, nomination, the nominated applicants are forwarded to the host institutions for the admission process. Until around 15th April, submitting the medical certificate for those of you who may have been uh, we may, we may not have submitted that prior to the application, okay? Then, by uh, mid-March to end of May, the host institutions select the applicants who meet the minimum, requ minimum entry requirements and inform them about the details, date and method of the examination, exam start. By end of May, the host institutions, which means university now you applied for, forward the result of the admission process to Tempus public foundation by end of may stroke the beginning of june 
Tempus Public Foundation allocates the admitted applicants based on the application preferences which you have selected when you are applying for the courses. The entrance, the entrance exam results, the capacities of the host institutions and the educational cooperation agreements. By middle stroke end of June, the Board of Trustees of Tempus Public Foundation makes a decision about the applications. From the end of June, the applicants are informed about the final result by Tempus Public Foundation. And by August, successful applicants accept their scholarship in the online system. If relevant, any missing documents are also uploaded. And this is this process that you have to undergo to get the scholarship. So in summary, this scholarship in Hungary which I have explained to you before. I'm going to retrieve what I've said before. This scholarship in Hungary is called, the name is called Stupendion Hungarian Scholarship and is free. They're going to fund your tuition fee, your monthly stipend, your accommodation and medical insurance. Completely free. It's in Hungary and Hungary is a member of European Union Schengen Zone. Okay? That means if you live in this country, you can travel to anywhere in the European Union without any further requirement for visa. Again, I will drop the link for this organization that you have to apply for the scholarship through their website. Please always read the comments or the description below my video because I do keep a lot of vital information and very important links that will help you to have more broader perspective of what I've just said in my video. I try to synthesize the information in my video to summarize the points that are quite most relevant to you to make an informed decision. However, the onus is also on you to do further research to understand more things I couldn't have said in this short video. Okay, so remember, like I said, from this year, November, December, they might open again for next year in tech. So when you open the link below this video, be on the lookout to know when the application will start for next academic session. Again, you can study in Hungary for free through Tempus Public Foundation Scholarship in collaboration with your countries, which is the sending partner for this scholarship scheme. Don't forget to ask me questions if you want further clarification. Drop your question in the comment section. Send me from a DM in my Instagram. I'm going to drop the link below this video. And please keep the discussion going right here in my channel. Again, it's, I'm here to give you the right information. But the job, the onus is on you to make use of them for your own benefits. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so. And please click that like button and keep the comments coming. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget, in all that you do, always give it a human face. I am the human investor. Thank you for watching and bye for now. Bye.